To write the name for CuSO4, the first thing we need to recognize is this SO4 right here. This is called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have the sulfate ion bonded to the copper. And copper, that's a transition metal. So we have this metal bonded to this group of nonmetals, this polyatomic ion. This is an ionic compound. We'll use these rules here to write the name. First, we'll write the name for the metal. That's the Cu, which is copper. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is the sulfate ion, one you should remember. Lowercase s. And so far, the name we have is copper sulfate. But copper, we said that's a transition metal. And transition metals can have a different charge depending what they're bonded to. So when we look at this, it's bonded to this sulfate ion here. Sulfate, the whole thing, has a 2 minus ionic charge. So the copper, that has to be 2 plus for these charges to add up to 0, to have a net charge of 0. So to show that the copper has a 2 plus charge, we put Roman numeral 2 with parentheses. And the name for CuSO4 is copper 2 sulfate. If you're given this name and asked to write the formula, you know that the copper atom is going to have a 2 plus charge. And you know that sulfate here always has a 2 minus charge. So you have one copper atom and then one sulfate polyatomic ion. They're bonded to the copper. This is Dr. B with the name for CuSO4, copper 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.